Hi, this is Shadji. By now I have made hundreds of videos and it can be quite confusing if you're new here. So I figured it's a good time to go back to the basics and talk briefly about the history of Kodokan Judo. Kodokan Judo was founded by Kano Jigoro Shihan, born 1860. Kano Shihan studied and trained jujitsu, the gentle or flexible art, as a youth in order to strengthen his frail body and to fight off bullies. He studied both the Tenjin Shinryu and Kitoryu styles of classical jujitsu to the point of mastering their teachings and supplemented this training with the theoretical study of other combative forms as well, like sumo and western wrestling, to name a few, integrating his own ideas and inspirations into the mix. Kano Shihan transformed the traditional jiu-jitsu principle of defeating strength through flexibility into a new principle of maximum efficient use of physical and mental energy. Kano felt that this better matched the needs of modern people. Kano also felt that the essence of his system could contribute much to the human and social development, including the principle mutual prosperity for self and others. He replaced the word jutsu, technique, with the word do, meaning path, and thus judo was born. And his training hall was named Kodokan, which means a place to teach the path. Kano is also known as the father of Japanese physical education, and in 1909 he became the first Asian member of the International Olympic Committee or the IOC. Kano traveled abroad 13 times lecturing and demonstrating judo in order to introduce his art to people around the world. Judo was officially created in 1882 by Kano Jigoro as an educational method derived from the martial arts and judo became an official Olympic sport in 1964 at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Judo is more than competition and combat. Judo also involves technical research, practice of kata, self-defense, physical preparation and the sharpening of the spirit. Today, there are practitioners from around 204 countries. These practitioners come from all walks of life and stepping onto the mat to forge their minds, bodies, and spirits. So next time you wear your judo gi, think of Kano Shihan and how you can take your judo outside of the mats to contribute to a better society. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.